going on guys welcome back to another replay roundup i know it's been a while since i've done a video and uh, i know no face cam you're thinking what the hell um pretty much what i want to do is first things first i want to start this uh replay roundup with a simple message to gaijin entertainment gaijin why no replay player come on gaijin okay as you can see i had a whole bunch of really cool uh, replays that were sent to me by viewers uh, guys if you want to send me a replay shoot an email over to deceptivecobras at gmail.com and put in the description okay uh, a war thunder tank replay or plane replay and a brief you know like it gets really good at this timestamp okay that's all i ask okay and you just send me the replay okay and i guarantee you i'll watch your replay if your replay is 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 in within a specific theme i will throw it in and all credits will go to you guys now, I was recently sent uh, um, these two replays. This one is Operation Sicily, uh, and it was sent to me in by Warhammer 2020. Uh, Warhammer was a clan member of my clan, um, but like I said, I, I, some things came around that stopped me from playing War Thunder, but I'm back now. So I uh, expect to see a lot more War Thunder content here on the channel. And so, without further to do, we're going to get into it. Um, but... The messed up part about this replay is, and Warhammer is probably going to hate me for this, but at the end of the day, um, you guys send me your replays to get my feedback. Now, as you guys know, I was a tank driver in the British Army, so I'm not a fighter pilot, I don't claim to be a fighter pilot, but I do know how to dance, so to say. Now, this is a realistic battle, we're just going to speed it up a little bit to the 16 spin now Gaijin why can we not just you, you give us a timestamp thing here but you won't let us skip ahead so I'm gonna let the video speed on ahead here and uh, when it gets to the point where I think uh, you guys are gonna enjoy the replay I will uh, see you back then okay guys here we are it's about the seven minute mark and change this is where it's gonna get interesting now Warhammer here is in the British uh, Mustang Mark 1A. As you can see, they've already lost five team members because of a huge furball that's going on here. BF109s are taking advantage of this because they are boom and zoomers. So they're zooming down, striking, pulling their nose up, putting all that energy from the dive back into altitude. Rinse and repeat. The only thing that's really going to be any kind of a pain to them are these P38s. Okay, Everyone knows 109s in realistic, their, their arch enemies are P-38s. Now, Warhammer here is uh, cruising at some altitude. He's around about 4,000, 4,300 meters and change, doing 230 miles an hour. And for God's sake, Warhammer, turn your smoke off. Okay? Turn it off. Turn it off. That's all I asked. Just turn it off. Now, I know some players like to configure their smokes to make it look like they have uh, oil damage or radiator damage to fool other players in realistic, especially scrub players, into thinking, oh wait, he's injured. Here, let me give up all of my, 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 my uh, advantages to try and get an easy kill. But in all honesty, I don't think it's working. Okay, so turn it off. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Anyway, he's not going to. Throughout this entire replay, he leaves it on. Anyway, uh, we got a Junker 87, we got a uh, Italian Full RC 202, and another one. To the left, we've got a BF 109. Anything up high? Anything up high? Not that his pilot can see or that the replay can render. So we're going to leave it going. Now, there is the BV 238. This is an interesting bomber. Now, what I mean by that is, is it is clearly a naval seaplane. Now, he has dropped his payload. You can tell by the fact that his wing spars are open. The bomb spurs on the wings are open. Okay, But what makes this plane unique is Germany expected the plane to be attacked from behind. This is why there is manned gun pods in the wings as well as in the tail. Okay, the wings and the tail. 
up front, all he's got is one nose gun and one top gun. So you could dive down and only ha have to handle one gun, or you can come up from underneath and have to deal with no guns. Hint for giddy hint. Or come in from the sides, you know, come in at a, an angle, you know, very roughly, I'd say here, and deal with no guns. But that's neither here nor there. So let's go back to Warhammer. So Warhammer, he's clearly seen the BV-238. Okay. And he's thinking to himself, oh shit. So the BV-2, the AI gunners are already letting off. They're not going to hit the broadside of a barn. Basically stormtroopers are pointing and laughing, saying, that's my boy. You know. A couple of bursts, try and spook Warhammer off. Warhammer bursts back. Yeah, I don't think he really hit anything. If he did, it was minor. If not, it sparked, which is just stupid because he's firing 20 millimeter Hispano cannons. Gaijin. Anyway, so he breaks contact. AI gunners still do a couple of bursts. Bomber thinks he's got away. Now, notice the flak. Notice the tufts of cloud. That is flak. Maybe Warhammer thought that the, the flak would take care of him. Great. Now, there's a poor A20G down low, a poor Havoc down low. We've got two Fugalor 20 C202s, a 109. Flak's firing off at Warhammer now. Nowhere near him, it's not even in the same postcode, so he's not worried he's having to worry about it, so having to adjust. Now that poor A20 must have got shot down. Because he's just parked his butt there. And he just Nope, ain't gonna play no more. And they've now lost the enemy have now lost the C202. 109 is trying to catch a P38 and a climb. Yeah, probably do it. C202 won't be able to do it. But he's trying. He's trying. So you notice he's gone into a complete 100% shallow dive. Dive. His nose is like literally right down there in 90 degrees to try and catch it. And he's just bleeding off. Now, c 202 smart. He's seeing Warhammer coming. So he's adjusted course. Warhammer, of course, in turn. Adjusts course in case thinking that the Fugalor is going to nip his nose in real quick, try and get a burst and be hit some tail controls. But of course, Warhammer's in a dive. He's doing 430 plus miles per hour. There's no way 202 can catch him. 202's realized this. P38's in a nice deep climb. Uh, 109 is probably at a stall, stall rate climb, which means maybe he's looking to do a crazy Ivan where he will literally just nose up, wet all the way to the point where his engine's about to die and stall out. Then the weight of the plane flips the plane around real quick without causing him too much stress on the fuselage. Just like what Warhammer's doing right here. Now that Fugalor is leader realized, screw you guys, there's no way. Warhammer's doing a couple of bursts at 850 meters and change. Yeah. And this is set his gun his gun sights for about six to seven hundred. There's no way he's gonna hit. Another P38J this time. Comes swinging in, USSR soldier. Takes the kill. Warhammer still hasn't turned off his damn smoke. So, you think to yourself, okay, what's so great about this replay? What, what, what's going to keep me sitting in my seat? It, it's coming, it's coming. So she said, put up on this. And the two P-38s, well, notice USSR soldiers climbed again. He's put that energy back into the bank. So, what is Ukraine doing? Why aren't you nosing up in a shallow climb like you're supposed to? Okay, um... There's clearly ground targets. Why aren't you farming some EXP? And so, well, here's another Fugler 202. It's the same one that flew away. Which it is. It's the same one that flew away. But this time he's back. And Warhammer's catching him. So, is he flying away from Warhammer? Let's find out. He is. Huh. And he's in a shallow climb. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Of course. 
P38J, nosing down a little bit, gaining some speed, realising smelling blood in the water. Unless there's a more juicier target that's going to show up, which I doubt. That poor C202 is probably flying towards the nearest set of friendly AA that he can find. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near him. He's actually flying, he is flying towards the runway. He's doing the right thing. He realizes he's outnumbered, he's outgunned. He's probably got low ammunition. Who knows? And so, this poor PS4 player, he's he's probably literally shitting himself. Going, oh fuck, go 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 fuck. You know? And he realizes, oh wait, is there an SM-79 bomber down low? At this point, in Warhammer's head, let alone mine, you can hear do 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 da 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 da. Now, this is the pros and cons. That C202 has the height advantage, which means he has an energy advantage. That SM29 does not. Warhammer has the height advantage. Warhammer has the energy advantage. Warhammer clearly may even have the ammo advantage. Now he's got to ask, and you got to ask yourself: Do I give up all of my advantages and try and take out a plane that has advantages over me, or do I kick the crap out of this little puppy called the SM79? Well, while Warhammer's too busy humming and hawing and stroking his beard and smoking his pipe. The c 202 has realized, wait a minute, that P-38 is tunnel visioned on that SM-79. Let's swoop in and take a couple of shots at him. So clearly the, the, the 202 has ammo and, uh-oh, it's too late. Bomb is gone. But c 202 is committed now. He's in that dive. He's committed. No look, friendly AA is now firing like a mofo. That poor P-38, oh, 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 wait a minute. Is that the BV-238 that we shot at earlier? <gasps> I think it is. Poor c 202s going to stick to him like glue in hopes that the AA and his AI gunners are going to protect him. But that, that BV is low, he's slow, he's fat. And, well, let's see, what, let's see what 20 mil cannons can do. Now, at the same time, that other P-38 is coming in for a dive to try and spook that C-202. 202 is freaking out. He can't line up. He can't group back up with that BV. And that BV is now being attacked by a P-38J-15. More Hispanos coming in. More Hispanos coming in. Now he's stalling out. If you actually look at where the wing spurs are, he clearly has wing damage. That that B-238. Let's, let's check real quick. Yeah, he's got wing damage. And now he's belly landed. And he's just lost his wing. Flips. That's all she wrote. Oh, all the engines are gone. Yeah, that's all she wrote. There's nothing he can do. And Warhammer got the kill. Warhammer stole that kill. He ninja it. Now, let's get back to Warhammer real quick. He's now done a barrel roll to loop up to stop the AA from trying to get a track on him. Smart move, throwing off your angles. But at the same time, look what the C202 did. He tried to loop in on Warhammer's tail even though there was a P-38 chasing him. So Warhammer wisely throttles back, kills some speed, takes his fight. I'm not sure if he got a hit or whatever, but burst, burst, burst. AA's now hitting him hard. Look at the damage. Just, just, just watch the damage rack up real quick. Thanks. Let's watch the damage. Pilot's wounded, engines hit, tail control. c 2 is down now. He knows dive right into the ground. There's nothing he can do. Flak hit again, hit again, engine, pilot, ouch. Flaps now, tail control, there goes one set of flaps. But it's too late. Oh, just misses him. Oh, oh, oh. The AI gunner just misses him. P-38s are just farming what AA they can. And it's over, enemies bleeding tickets. And off home he goes, look at the hole, you got a hole in your left wing, no fucking shit Sherlock, I'm in the fucking plane, you know, don't patronize me, and so that was Warhammer's uh, uh, replay, um, 
two kills. One was a steal. Yeah. Um, the other one wasn't. It was a nice little mini dogfight right there. Clearly, you could see that that 202 player was hoping. Uh, 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 clearly, you could see that he was absolutely hoping that the AA would come to his aid. And it did. Just too little, too late. There was too many air targets. The AA couldn't group fire on a single target. This is the thing about AA. It likes to group. It likes to swarm a single target. If you've got a friendly with you, a couple of friendlies with you, you can confuse the AA to the point where once you start taking out two or three or four or five of the guns, the AA is completely ineffective whatsoever. You can farm the rest of the guns and the enemy can't really do anything. But the downside to that is that's three of that that's two or three planes that you could use to help take out the enemy. Um all in all, Warhammer, the only things I really have to say about your 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 your, your play is gun convergence. You, it's clear you've got your gun gun convergence set to about maybe five hundred meters. Five, five fifty. Um my gun meter convergence is set at about 800. A reason why it's set that way, that way my shots are straight. And my bullets do not uh, 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 cross. Um, so I know that the guns from the left wing are going to hit targets to my left. Guns on my right wing are going to hit targets to my right. Um, but other than that, turn your damn smoke off. That's all I really need to say about that. Other than that, this replay was fun. Um, thank you for sending it in, Warhammer. And uh, like I said, if you have any replays that you want to send me, guys, go ahead and uh, send it to uh, deceptivecobras at gmail.com and put in the, the headline, um, you know, War, uh, uh, War Thunder replay and just you know, tank, plane, whatever, and uh, what start time. Until then, my friends, take care, and I'll see you in the next replay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another replay for the replay roundup. Today we're going to be taking a look at a replay one of my followers on Twitch and um, I'm not going to use his Twitch name, in fact I'm just going to use his uh, I'm just going to use his uh, in-game name because it's absolutely hilarious um, This replay was sent in by uh, Colonel Spicy Wiener and here he is flying the KI-84 Otsu uh, um, that's a Japanese plane so one of, one of one of my one of my favorite planes, if you know how to know how to fly, and here he is, Captain Spicy Wiener. It's uh, this is an arcade battle, so you got to take it with a pinch of salt, especially the 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 the, the matchmaker. And so here we are. Carlos immediately puts it into a high dive, a uh, high climb. Sorry. Enemy still starting to fill out now. Here you can see some little black dots. Do not try to clean your monitor. Okay, your monitors are not dirty. Um, what you're seeing is, especially here, is enemy planes that have yet to be recognized and identified. So, alright, here we go. We're getting some targets show up now. We've got a Donya 217, a PB4Y over here, Yak 9, BF 109s, Focal 190s, B 17s. Alright, so we're having a little mix here. Got a nice little mix here. It is a ground strike mission, which means bombers do have a higher priority. And yet, on his team, we've got a Sterling, KI-21, Lancaster, Wellington, another Lancaster, a Junker 87. We've got a couple of 109s here. Okay, so all the bombers are on pretty much over here. Down low, we've got a Donya 217, Spitfire. Nice, nice. So, clearly, lots of bomber heavy. Bombers do have one wing there, a KI, a, a BF 109K. But the enemy now have a Donya 217 up high. Okay. Now, if this was me, I would be somewhat apprehensive to, apprehensive to dive on any of these PBs. Uh, simply because I don't know who's going to counter dive me, okay? So I, I I would be doing what he's doing, which is to just hold, you know? Clearly we've got a 109 on an intercept, and a TAR 152 on an intercept. 
down low. See, 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 look. Down low. See fire. And a 217 that wasn't even showing up. Yeah, this, 10, this uh, 109 is clearly on somewhat of an intercept course. Poor uh, Sterling, he's got a 190 on his tail. That yeah, poor Sterling's doomed. Got a Yak 9. Ooh, Tar. 152 coming in hard. That poor Lancaster's doomed as well. Look at all of that real estate on one plane. So, what does is, what is, uh, uh, Spicy Wiener do here? The only thing you can. Tar. Tunnel visioned. By Tar. His first kill. Stop shooting it, it's dead. Second one. Yak 9. Couple of hits on the Yak. Switches to the 109. 109 is. pissing fuel. Now he's dead. Okay. But again, sadly, the Lancaster just couldn't hold it. A lot of cannon fire. 109 broke left, Yak broke right. So what does he do? He goes off, goes off the fuck, uh, fuck off one No, he doubles back. He doubles back. Yak 9's thinking, all right, but you want to dance? Let's dance, mate. Then the Yak 9 realizes, oh fuck, that's a jet plane. No, I don't want to dance to him. So right now, um, down below, he's got an A26. He's got a PB. 4Y and he's got a Donya 217. If this was me, okay, I I what I would have done is probably dived on that PB4. I would have gone in vertical, you know, knife edged, nose down, burst, 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 pull up, and then headed off in this direction but let's see what uh, what FUD does uh, what uh, spicy wiener does puts into a shallow climb keeps, keeps his energy yak 9's not wow the yak 9's climbing that's oh he's going after the wellington <gasps> This Yak 9 to dedicate Bomber Hunter. You silly sausage. You're about to get. Oh, and he gets the poor Wellington. Ribbon pepperoni, no shoots. But, but guess what? Karma's a bitch. <laughs> in, the form of a, in the form of a KI 84. Does a little small victory roll there. Can't blame him. So we're going to hit the follow, follow camera real quick. Now. What else does he see? What else does he see? Down low, we've got A20G, F, F3F, 109, P51. Anything up high? Got a friendly Lancaster, and that's about it. Nothing on his six. Okay. Knife edges a little. Oh shit, Fuck Wolf 190 coming in. Burst, 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 burst. We're gonna hit the follow camera. Nice counter scissor. Lines up. Does a double loop, pulls around, flaps, bleeds off some of that speed, bleeds off some more speed, does a spiral. Nice, nice, nice. I would have hit my E key here. Oh, you didn't need that tail, did you, Mr. One? No, nine. Oh, no, you didn't. I would have hit the E key, which uh, in turn would have hit your rudder, bleed off a little bit more speed, but you know what? Hey, glad he didn't, right? He's still in the sky, and that poor 109 isn't. That 109 is probably hating life. Knife edges, does he see anything yet? No, he sees a 109 climbing. Going after a Halifax. Looks like it looks like Spicy Wiener here has uh, gone on uh, bomber protection duty and he's it's bagged him four kills. Could he bag him a five? Who knows? Who knows? He is gaining on that 109, but it looks like that that, that 109's got a couple of Oh, looks like the 109's got himself a uh, water leak or a fuel leak. Probably a water leak by the, 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 the by the look of it. Now notice how how uh, Spice Wiener hasn't wept. He hasn't wept. He's keeping his stealth rating. I'm pretty sure you know when you when you do wept, you get off a, a much larger 
sound profile. Halifax is starting to, to, to fly very defensively now. Knife edge, knife edge, knife edge, knife edge. Nice, you didn't want that wing, did you, Mr. 109? I'll take that. Nicely done. Immediately puts the nose up. Any energy he lost in that turn and that dive, he just immediately gained it back. Like a yo-yo. Got an LA-7. Potentially coming in close. Uh, let's take a little look down. Z, nothing near me. Mm, bit of a fur ball going on right underneath. Only that LA-7. Really within striking distance. Uh, we've got a Lancaster and a Hyper 111H up in the sky, friendly. With a Lancaster and a B17 up high. Those guys are probably cruising at about 6,000, 7,000 feet, at uh, 1,000 uh, meters now. Okay, he puts it into a bit of a shallow dive, gain a little bit of speed. So you're going to dive on that 190 or maybe the Tar 152. Looks like he's going for that Tar 152. Here's some engine, here's some engine. It's friendly, it's friendly, it's friendly. Halifax took some engine damage. Oh, 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 190D. A 190D. D13, mini cannons. Oh! Ho, ho. He is just a 190 killer today. That is his uh, sixth kill. Very nicely done. Immediately puts it into a very steep climb. Regained back uh, and he lost altitude that he did in that dive. Halifax is going for the uh, enemy base. Hello, high water, I will bomb that base. You know? While the Lancaster and B 17 are clearly in some form of a uh, defensive formation. Okay, we've got an enemy Donye 217. Another 109 down low. Is he going to go and, and claim himself another 109? Oh, oh, Yak 9, Yak 9. Looks like he's going to go for that Donye 217. 217 going into a steep dive. Oh my god, he's definitely seen him. He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Couple of bursts. Nothing, nothing. No, no, no. Lifted his nose up because he realized Yak 9's on his 6. Yak 9's turned to uh, engage that Halifax, it looks like it. Um, that F3F looks like it's barely trying to make it home. Could have engine damage. Uh, could have no engine and he's just gliding. And see that Yak 9. Oh, Yak 9's seen him coming and is going defensive. Going defensive. Now he's yo yoing up. Yo yoing up. Go vertical, go vertical, go vertical, go vertical. Nice. Missed his attack run completely. He's going to flip around. Combat flaps up. Oh, oh, oh. Couple of dives. Burst, burst. No, 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 no. Smart move. He's realized that the yak's gone straight, straight, straight vertical. Let me go straight horizontal. You spend all your energy. I'm going to gain energy. You can go. Oh, oh, a sea fury out of nowhere. Coming in. Danger close. Six, 600 meters. Defensive, defensive, defensive. Flaps are up. Def flaps are up. Oh, oh, oh. Nice inverted corkscrew. Couple of shots. Sea Fury sh got shots back. Nailed him in his engine. Nothing leaking. No, not oil or, or, or fluids. So that's good. Sea Fury's realised. Oh shit! I'm fighting with a jet plane. Fuck! He's outturned me. Burst! 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 And boom. Carlos Spicy Wiener gains himself another kill. But there's a Yak Nine. Oh, Yak Nine's pulling away though. He lucks out there, he lucks out there with that Yak-9 pulling away. Nose up, nose up, store that energy back into the bank. Stores that energy back into the bank. Seven kills so far. Absolutely amazing. He's only, he's only taken minor engine damage from that heads up. With that uh, Sea Fury. It's a couple of 190s and a Spitfire. Now, if it was up to me, if I had to pick one of those targets, I would go, in all honesty, I would go for the Spitfire. It's the only thing that can that can turn with me. One, the 190s can't turn. Engine sound. Anyone around? Anyone around? No, 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 no. Must be the replay system. All right. Got a 190. Looks like it's on the intercept. Army is, Armist 13. 
friendly 190 diving down now. Let's see how that turns out. Oh. Didn't turn out that well. Neither one's down. They're both flying still. No uh, visual damage. Okay, 190 is trying to sneak in. Of course. Uh, uh, spicy Wiener here counters him. Couple of shots. He's going to burst. Burst, burst, burst. Oh, he's on fire. He's on fire. And he burns. Kill number eight. We've got a Spitfire coming in now. Oh, friendly. Friendly pushes the Spitfire out of, off of his uh, attack run. It's a Spitfire F. Uh, Mark 24. Right, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Cut the burst. Oh, tower control. Crits right there. Good luck trying to turn now, buddy. Too late. Too bad. So sad. A couple of more bursts. Maybe he's going to nose plant into the ground. Who knows? Six is clear. Twelve is clear. Small little victory roll. Comes back around. Oh! Fucker Wolf 190 and A8 this time. Trying to do a dive on him. Misses. Burst. No. Burst, burst, burst. Got him. See ya. Another 190 for the kill. Is he going to finish off that poor Spitfire? No, he's just going to leave that Spitfire to his own devices. Oh, shoot. Something hit him. Another. Oh, my God. Another Fucker Wolf. 190. What the hell? Goes defensive, goes defensive. More defensive angling, more defensive angling. Nothing real. It, it, minor skin damage at best. Out, out plays that Fog Wolf 190 like a fucking boss. That poor 190 is like, nope, nose down. Save the energy. Keep going. Pull away, pull away, pull away. While Spicy Wiener here puts his nose up, puts that energy in the bank, breaks contact, realizing there's an ME 410 now coming in on him. Holy shit, 410. But guess what? 410 ain't gonna get the kill. It's over. Congratulations, GG, victory roll. Poor 410 didn't stand a chance. Even right there, he started the initial pigtails corkscrew. There's no way that 410 would have even stood a chance trying to get shots on target, even in a healthy environment such as uh, arcade flight models. There's no way that 410 would have ever got his nose around to uh, maybe do anything anything superficial or, or, or worse at best. So, that was an amazing replay. Thank you, Spicy Wiener, for sending that in to me, my friend. I greatly appreciate that. He walked away with 2,331 score with nine kills. No assists, though. Uh, no ground targets destroyed. No sea targets destroyed. Uh, no enemy assists. And uh, no base damage done. And zero deaths. Absolutely zero deaths. Now, uh, clip, clip scene, of course, you could clearly see that he's in a bomber. And so, yeah, he, bombers are always going to be the, 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 the go-to thing to get stupid amounts of EXP. Um, which is kind of sad, in uh, my honest opinion. Unfortunately, um, there's nothing I can do about these older replays, guys. I really wish I could. But, you know, it is what it is. And so, that was a replay that we first saw from Warhammer 2020. And then the next replay came from uh, uh, Captain Spicy Wiener. Again, guys, thank you so much for sending me your replays. I love them a lot. And if you want to send me a replay, please click the video description down below. You will see an email address. It's deceptivecobras at gmail.com. Please put in the uh, email description. Uh, oh, if it's an arcade battle, realistic simulator, tank, you know, you name it. And, uh, and in a brief description... Uh, leave, uh, 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 say, hey, it gets a little bit hairy at this point in the video, and uh, I will uh, take a look at it real quick for you, and if I feel that it is something that uh, I can use to help educate you guys with, uh, I will throw it up in every play roundup. Until then, my friends, I'm going to say this with a simple love you and leave you. Keep your shows fine. Keep your enemies dying. Your cover commander is back, and I will see you guys in the next replay roundup. Till then, take care, my friends.